writing of Beckett appears to do really well is place an audience inside of a situation or an experience. I'll refer to another play, Waiting for Godot, in which the spectator is subjected to a similar test of endurance. The anticipation for maybe a final statement to charge the agonizing duration of the text with meaning is perpetually suspended. And meaning is never fully realized by the text itself. What we find in Crap's last tape is Crap examines these documents of himself is a self or a person externalized, a collection of one's life. But the project of knowing oneself is ultimately frustrated and subject to the mutability of memory and the material form it starts to take on. Jean Baudrillard writes of the miracle of collecting in the system of objects. He writes, what you really collect is always yourself. Crap himself appears to be on the verge of accumulating and augmenting the texts that would constitute how he decides to remember himself. But tape, as material, always appears to be emptying itself of its own content. What I mean by this is, each time the real runs, a little damage articulates itself upon the material. What is consistently found is an incompleteness, a vulnerability, um, a pause. Perhaps these spaces in between recorded instances are not suggestions of absences. The machine continues to function, the body is still present inside of that space, but what we find perhaps are indeterminate states that gesture toward uh, becoming. What Crap finds, instead of a singular narrative, something that would summarize an entire complex life, what he finds is a specter, a fragmentation, or an elusive multiplicity of self.